what is up you guys it's red cruise here and welcome back to a new video on the channel and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day today i'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can make a really dope landscape intro so first off you guys will need a few apps which is kind master of course fonto for the text and ps touch which is very simple uh this link if you guys don't have photoshop touch link would be in the description and um, yeah, so once you guys have done that, you guys want to first open up Fonto. Once you guys have opened up Fonto, what you guys now need to do is go ahead and go to use plain image. And just doesn't matter which color, I'll always choose black. Now, once you guys have done that, you guys will need to go on ahead and add in your name, which I'm going to type in Wrath for this. And you guys, I'm going to change to the font. It's up to you guys. I'm going to change the font though. So once you guys are done with your text, now what you guys will need to do is simply go on ahead and go into style and choose the color white. You guys can do anything else if you guys want, but for this, I'm going to keep it white. So once you guys have done that, you guys want to press done. Go ahead and change the size to whatever size you guys like. So for this, I'm going to choose it like that and I'm press save. And then I'll meet you guys in Photoshop touch. Once you guys have opened up Photoshop touch, you guys want to go on ahead and press this blue plus button. You guys want to come right here and go on ahead and type in 1280 by 720. Once you guys have done that, it's very simple. Just press OK. And then once you guys have done that, simply tap on and go ahead and fill in stroke and put it a white color. So the next thing you guys want to do is go on ahead and add in your text. Make it as big as you guys like. So I'm going to make it that big. So once you guys have done that. You guys will now need to do is simply go on ahead and tap on the magic wand, tap on the background, and press cut. Whoops. Cut. And then easily you guys can just simply just zoom in using your two fingers and just clear the other black spots out. So now what you guys will need to do is go on ahead and tap on this box right here and go into select pixels. Once you guys have selected the pixels, you guys will now need to tap on the white background right here. Press cut, uh, press this and press clear. And once you guys have done that, you guys will now have a transparent background. So you guys can easily just remove that, which is very simple, very easy. So once you guys have done that, you guys want to go on ahead and just save it. I'm going to save it as a PNG and press OK. And I'll meet you guys back in Kai Master. Once you guys have opened up Kai Master, now what you guys will need to do is simply tap on media, go in and ahead and go into background, simply type on either background you guys want, it doesn't really matter. Uh, for this, I'm going to type, uh, I'm going to tap on this background. So once you guys have done that, you guys want to press the check mark. And then once you guys have done that, you guys would need video layer for this. If you guys do not know how to get video layer, or if you guys don't have video layer supported with your device, I'll leave a link down in the description. So once you guys have gotten your animation of your landscape, um, I'll leave this link down in the description so you guys can also download it if you guys like. But you guys want to cut this. If you guys use this one, you guys want to cut it halfway like that. So once you guys have done that, you guys will now need to go on ahead and make it a little bit more forward like that. Then go on ahead and go into layer and grab a black background. Once you guys have grabbed a uh, black background, you guys will now need to do is simply place it in the middle, which I'm going to do right here. And then once you guys have done that, simply just duplicate it and place it also in the middle. Just put pull it down a little bit. Okay. All right. So once you guys have done that, you guys want to push this back a little bit more. And then now what you guys will need to do is actually I'm going to move it back a little bit more. Kind of like that. There we go. So now what you guys will need to do. Ooh, yeah, that, that, that's really far away. So I'm just going to connect it. So what you guys will need to do now is simply tap on it and go on ahead and go into keyframe. And it's easy to know which one it is. So this one is the top one right here. So what you want to do is, is just simply just kind of scroll up a little bit. And just move this up. And make sure you guys kind of cover like put a little black spot just so you guys won't have to do it later. That's what I'm starting to do now. So you guys just want to do the same thing for the bottom one. Just pull it down right there. And then now you guys want to make sure it fits the whole screen or you guys want to make sure it's like this. And once you guys have done that, you guys now would need to do is just simply go like that. It will look like something like this. 
something opening up i'm sorry if the lag is kind of booty right now because it really is so what you guys will need to do is simply just trim this right here and duplicate this one right here doesn't matter on how you do it just duplicate it and you guys can duplicate it one uh i think that'll be enough yeah that'll be enough so what you guys want to do is simply tap on this and bring it to front that's what you guys okay so you guys want to tap on the bottom one and bring to front too so now you guys will have it where it does the animation like that so now what you guys will need to do is simply adding your music which i'm gonna do right quick so now what you guys will need to do after you guys added your music simply tap on where the bass drops and simply go into keyframes and as you guys can see you guys just want to move a little bit ahead right there and just shrink it just a little bit if you guys have done that you guys can simply go on ahead and just add in your image which i'm gonna do right quick what we need to do is simply just increase it kind of big exactly kind of like that so now once you guys have done that you guys will now need to go on ahead just kind of center it like this go in and hit go into keyframes and just basically just make it drop so I'm gonna do that right quick. Just make it smaller, just like that. Make sure it fits the screen too. There we go. So now what you guys have done that, you guys can easily just press the check mark and just simply go on ahead. So once you guys have done that, you guys wanna go back into keyframe and just simply go on ahead and just simply make it smaller. Just a tab. I think that's fine. So once you guys have done that, I think you guys are pretty much almost done here. Done that, you guys want to go on ahead and go into the solid colors again. And simply just go on ahead and bring to front. Go to the other one. Do the same thing. Bring to front. And then now you guys will get something like that. What you guys now would need to do is just simply, that's pretty much almost it. So now what you guys would need to do is simply add in a random color background, which is right here. And then you guys want to go on ahead and just put it, scroll it put it all the way down right here and then what you guys want to do is go on ahead and shorten this as well so there you guys go so now what you guys have done that you guys want to you guys want to go on ahead and just duplicate this layer and add a secondary color the secondary color is just going to be any color you guys want to go with the intro so for this one i want this one to stay white and for this one, I want this one to be a red background. Simply tap on it, go into keyframes. Simply just drag it up, upward, just like that. And make sure it fits the screen as well. You don't, you, you don't want it to look ugly. <laughs> so once you guys have done that, just simply do the same thing to the white one. So now you guys will get something like this. And then now what you guys have done that, you guys want to go on ahead and go back into this layer again. Bring to front for the last time. Bring to front. And then now if you guys have a white text name, this will be a very good time to put it there. So once you guys have done that, as you guys can see, I actually changed the color. All you guys have to do is simply go on ahead and just grab your intro or your text and then just drag it all the way down here. And then what you guys want to do is make it shorter than any other one. As you guys can see, it actually really is right there. So as you guys can see, the white will go first, the blue, and then my text. So you guys want to go to the keyframes on your text and do the same routine as you guys did for the others. So you guys want to just want to drag it up into the middle right there. And as you guys can see, you guys can see this. And I know this looks ugly, okay? So what you guys wanna do now is just simply go into layer. Okay, so once you guys have done that, you guys might want to duplicate this a few times, just because. So you guys wanna go on ahead and just, you guys wanna grab this one, and just drag it all the way to the corner over here. You guys wanna make sure it fills the screen exactly as this. You guys just wanna drag it to the corner right here. And you guys want to duplicate it. Then you guys want to go on ahead and just drag it to the top right here. Make it bigger. And then once you guys have done that, you guys want to go on ahead, press the check mark one.
So now that you guys have done that, it would just look like a plain white color. So now what you guys want to do is go on ahead and just go into back to here and bring to front one last time. And then there you guys go. So once you guys have done that, you guys just want to go on here and grab another one last, you know, uh, image right here. You guys just want to drag it to the end, probably like right here, actually. And then what you guys want to do now is just simply go on ahead and go into keyframes and just drag it across the screen. Exactly like that. Press the check mark. You guys want to duplicate it. And make sure that this one is a little bit seconds ahead or before it and you guys want to put it white and then now what you guys have done that actually what you guys want to do is basically swap colors so i'm gonna swap this one white right here and then i'm gonna put this one a black color whoops there we go and then now what you guys have done that it's actually a little bit too soon so i'm gonna go on ahead and just make it look like that there we go so now you guys got that at there and before the thing once you guys have done that you guys want to go into your sound and uh where's that little sound i know it's an s or whatever mm-hmm -mm. So as you guys can see, you guys get something like this. And um, for this one, I'm actually just gonna go on ahead and just add it right here and turn it full volume so that the after all will have like an effect to it, you know? There we go. So there you guys. go that's something very nice and um yeah that's pretty much it for this video you guys and i hope you guys did enjoy keep a lookout because i got a brand new 3d intro coming out very soon so yeah so much thank you guys for watching taking the time out if if you guys did leave a thumbs up already thank you so much for showing your support i really do appreciate it and without further ado i catch you guys in the next video peace Bitch, I don't have a cent. I'm too fly. I'm too fly. Keep that cash on me. Yeah. You know why? You know why? They ain't playing fair. So I keep that fire. Keep that fire. Fuck that bullshit.